Hello everyone, this is Darius from the Shot Caller, joined by Colt after a very confident win, uh, smurfing on Gragas, I would say. Is that a fair assessment? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I will say though, I think my team set me up quite well for success, so it's, it's after all it's a team game, but I think I, I was, it was one of the better games I played this split, so. When you you killed a few people with your Gragas ult a few times, yeah. did you throw or did you say Kobe while while doing it? I should have. You now, should have. Now that you bring it up, I should have. But uh, it's one of my uh, it's one of my signature moves to just uh, KS with the ulti to all the jungle mains out there. If you're playing Gragas, make sure you always KS because obviously you have to carry. So yeah, it's you important. have to establish dominance within your own team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All my, both my carries were like, oh, give me the kill, give me the kill. And then I, I'm just like, Phew. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Like someone needs to make, maybe, maybe even make a montage and then make it slow-mo and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. So yeah, if someone is watching, make sure to, <laughs> to make the montage. montage yeah. And then, <laughs> and then on each side, there's like a Nuke Duck face and a Patrick face, uh -huh. and they're both crying for the kills, you know, yeah, that would be perfect. And then do it like a 360 no scope, you know, Call of Duty edit, like pa pa pa. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, maybe a little bit overkill, but yeah. Yeah, yeah but like a deliberate overkill. Possible, yeah. I like it. The, the good stuff. Anyway, uh, week five of LEC, Origin looking a lot better now. You're all on a win streak. Yes. Win streaks are dangerous in this league, I've heard, because like whenever a team does well and goes on a win streak, they eventually just break at, after like four or five wins. I mean, that's just, that's just the perception of a win streak, right? Like, that's your perception. For us, it's just... We don't really care, honestly. Like we don't really care if we have a win streak or a lose streak. What we care about is just the the, the slow slow pro process. Even though it sounds boring as fuck, uh, but it is what it is. And we are right now. We are showing way more of what we anticipated going into the split. So I'm quite happy with how things are, are going, and we are turning things around. So th that makes me happy. Essentially, you guys are now like five and four yeah. after the first half of the split. That's a yeah. perfectly fine result for a new team, no? Yeah, I mean, starting 1-4, it's, it's quite good. So, yeah, I think um, looking back at, back at some of the games, I think even if we are a little bit better, we should have won some of the losses. But, uh, I mean, you can always say this. Uh, you, you, some of the games you should have won where you, you lost and other way around. So, uh, I think it's all right. We are, we are still a new team and we were, our goal is to get to playoffs. And I think right now it's, that we are kind of set for that if we keep up what we're doing now. So. To keep up the form, of course. That said, there is a, a lot of hot competition. You know, some of them are struggling right now. For example, like looking at Misfits, you know, they went 0-2 last yeah. week. But you always got to count them in. The super team, the narratives, uh, <laughs> the narrative eaters. Yeah, uh, the narrative is good. Yeah, the narrative is good. But uh, how good is the team? And uh, who do you like view as your direct opponents right now, given that Origin is really uh, in, a in a good um, um, form right now? Let, let's just put uh, G2 out of it. Like, G2 yeah. is obviously there, uh, I think. Outside of G2, um, I think Schalke is looking quite good. Uh, Vitality has their moments, especially on stage. I think they are, they are quite solid. Um, and outside of that, I, I don't really see too much like I, super team or not. I, I don't really have much uh, fear about Misfits being strong. Uh, there was this meme about them being garbage in scrims before. Uh, and then they go on stage and they're like, oh yeah, we play. It doesn't matter how we do in practice. Uh, we Now we're just good, you know, like. I, I can, s I, I get it. Obviously, you have to say that, but um, I think they will fall off and not be a great team. Uh, it's kinda, is it haunting them now? Kind of like it's a, it's a curse from before. The yeah. Last I mean, it's funny because at the start of the split, I, we talk. I talk uh, a lot with Bani about it, and Afari, if if you don't know, uh, and he always he always told me that they would never be good. So I have to trust my top lane, obviously. It's not, it doesn't come from me, it obviously comes from Bani. Woo! So, uh, yeah, it's hot takes from uh, the world of Origin. Oh, hot takes for sure. I mean, I will say this, last time I, I spoke with Barney in week one, yeah. and it was like, I asked him, hey, hey, do you have a message from Maxwell? And he was like, well, next week is gonna be my message, and then you guys lost, lost pretty it. hard. <laughs> yeah. But I will say though, that the game we lost to them, uh, if you go back and watch that game, uh, some, Players on our team were not playing up to par, and um, I don't want to call them out. They know what we have talked about it, and all we're all good. Uh, I actually really like the way we handle each other in, on the team because uh, we are not afraid of calling each other out in a good way. You know, some sometimes um, when you are playing on teams, you are like afraid of actually criticizing 
uh, for some of the moves they did or but uh, mostly on the, as league players we all know when we fuck up like we know when we make a mistake it's it's very clear and sometimes you just you ha don't have a an explanation for why you did it maybe sometimes you just had a blunder and that's all right and we we are actually all right with that and we we are very supportive of each other when things go poorly and even when we are one and four like uh, obviously there was a little bit of drop in in in, in how we were feeling and, and stuff like that but we never ever got to the point where we didn't have each other's back and I'm, I'm very grateful to have uh, good teammates like this no breaking point yet from origin no i mean the team is crying right now because those are free views right there <laughs> i mean it's we we definitely have uh strong personalities on our team uh we have uh, we have a spanish guy that likes to uh sometimes be a little uh, emotional about some things and he he likes to share his opinion on on, on everything and i have a lot of respect for that uh but we definitely get in some heated moment, heated discussions <laughs> once in a while. So, yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah, heated gaming moments. I, I also always say, you know, I'm very emotional. I said that as well when I got chat restricted to the writer that asked me oh, about right. it. So. Yeah, yeah. Very emotional. <laughs> yeah, not, not much to say to that one. That's just, that's just life, you know. <laughs> that's just life. Life is full of emotions. <laughs> life is full of emotions. It's a, it's a roller coaster, you know. There are ups and there are downs. True. For Origin, it's going up still. Um, but yeah, like going into the split, would you, if I would have told you before the split started, hey, you guys are going to start out five and four, mm -hmm. would you have taken that result uh, all day of the all day of the week, every day of the week? At the, at the start, like if yeah. day one you tell me we, we are five and four, I would say that's that's all right. But I was expecting better. Okay. So, um, what were some of the things that like very clearly went wrong, and you guys have already fixed since? Um, so, uh, going into the split, we were uh, we were to say it, uh, to say it lightly, we we're smashing most teams in, in in practice, and that actually made it quite bad for us because we were just winning by default instead of actually uh, winning by doing the right steps and. Um, it's kind of a cliche at this point that you you just go back to the basics, go back to the basics, look at the basics, guys. And then uh, so we used the first two weeks where we were losing a lot to fix these things, um, and eventually we, it caught up to us again. And then uh, we started building some systems, but starting building on on the f fundamentals that we wanted to bring and share our ideas of how we want to play. And then suddenly we are more on the same page. And I think in the first couple of games we played on stage, we, are, we were running in circles like chickens and we didn't know what, what the hell is happening. So um, that, those are just kind of the things you, you sometimes have to, some problems you run into when you're a new team. Mm -hmm. And uh, that happened to us. And that's why we, we looked pretty, looked like a pretty poor team in the start. But, but it is what it is. I think now we're showing, we're showing more what kind of team we are. Showing potential and showing the true potential. Potential, so <laughs> I will not say the word. You said it. Uh, but you already said it. But I no, did? You said it, it, well, you said it I say it in a different way. Yeah, I learned it. In a I different learned context. It. Because every time you say potential, it's just like the, the memes are just rolling yeah. in, you know? True. But yeah. hey, we're at the LEC broadcast. Like it's we have Naratovitas. We uh, have a Welshman who cooks drafts. Apparently, yeah. uh, we have a Welshman who also flexes a lot. And yeah, um, yeah. he's getting buff, man. Yeah, it's he's crazy. Woo. Yeah, even more buff than you, man. That's... I mean, I'm falling off. Like it's it's. I'm going into my my twenties. You know, it's I'm getting old. It's it goes down. Flexes down. are gone, basically. Yeah, I heard nowadays uh, the girls want a dad bod anyway, so that's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Um, but I, I found it funny when you mentioned earlier how like, yeah, G2, you know, they're already kind of, they're, they're always competition anyway. Like we, yeah. we just, we don't even need to discuss that. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the comments uh, on social media and within the communities are like, wait, how do, how does any team right now in the LEC beat G2? Like, uh, do you guys already have a plan set for, for your rematch against them? Um, no, I don't think we have like a specific plan against them. It's more we, we are just focusing on playing our game, and I think if we play our game at best, uh, at our best, I think we we can easily uh, match up against them. But they they are just overall five very solid players, and right now they're they're riding like the the, the momentum of of just everything they do works for them, and then they're they're a scary team because they 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 still do a lot of mistakes. If you if you actually look at their games, they 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 do mistakes, but but then they make one mistake, but three good plays, and then they don't. You don't even see the mistakes. So I think uh, also right now teams are just a little bit afraid of them, 
and I we are not afraid of them. We 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 just wanna we we just wanna show that we can compete with them. And I think uh, tomorrow when we we play them, uh, who knows what will happen? Maybe we get stumped. But but I, I have a good feeling about that. We will show that uh, we will not get rolled over like the, the other teams. Very solid is not the way I would describe those members, but um, we'll, we'll just go with that, I guess. Yeah, very solid. <laughs> just very solid. You know, like yeah. decent. Above average. Above average. That, that's how you would, should describe T2 apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you would like to say to the Origin fans? Uh, Have you learned any Spanish yet? Uh, amigo, amigo, vamos, vamos. No, I... Uh, uh, to all the Origin fans, just keep, keep cheering for us. I think um, it was a little bit of a rough start. I, 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 can, I can understand why some of you were like... Oh, why the why the hell did they sign this guy? This guy is so bad. Blah blah blah. You know, but uh, we live in a world where we we practice day in uh, day out, and uh, we we get to showcase thirty minutes uh, two times a week of what what we're actually capable of. And sometimes those thirty minutes just don't don't go your way. But that doesn't mean that we we are not trying our best because we are we are we are working as hard as we can to to get the. To the goals that we are we are aiming for, and that is making one of them is obviously making the Origin fans happy, and uh, I'm pretty sure that we we will accomplish great things, and I'm just excited to to see how far we can go. Year of the Duck, no, no that's a dead it's meme, right? Year of the Origin. Year of the Origin. Okay, is that gonna year be the Origin? Probably. Year of Origin. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, is that gonna be the hashtag as well? We can do that. You have you have Origin, yeah. You have Origin. Because I mean, for us, it's not. It doesn't have to be that we 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 peak in, in in spring or anything. We we have this year to to build uh, a great team, and that is what we're doing. Of course, that's always the goal, and that's what you hear from most organizations. At the end of the day, only three make it to I guess that's also a meme nowadays. Like <laughs> one year plan. Yeah, whatever. one year plan. First, we want to make playoffs. Then we want to make worlds. Cut that bullshit. We are the year of origin. Cut that bullshit, year of origin. I like that a lot. Thank you so much, Cold, for your time. I hope you have a good day. You guys as well. This was Darius from the Shot Cola. I hope you have a good day. I said that already, but uh, I'll have see you guys day. next time. Thank have you. A good night. We'd especially like to thank Christoph Buinovic, Etienne, Thomas Göttel, Dominic Bolze, Lazy Raven, Adam Novoswiat, Erich Althaus, and La Maviota for your very special support. And of course, also. We'd like to thank all the people whose names you see scrolling past you right now. And of course, also all the people that like, comment, subscribe, and support our work. Without you, our work wouldn't be possible. Thank you very much.